Let's talk about two guys who a lot of people have been talking about the Saints should go after. Earlier this week, Shaq Leonard, the Colts linebacker, was released. And today, Eagles released Derek Barnett, the edge rusher. So should the Saints go after either of these two guys? Let's talk about Shaq Leonard first. Shaq Leonard is a linebacker who was like going to like all pro Hall of Fame level in the first few seasons of his career. Then injuries kind of derailed it and he's now available for free agency. I do not think the Saints should go after him. And I don't think he would want to come here either. I think he'll want to go to a place where he can start and play. And I don't see a scenario where he starts over DeMario. And if you sign him, then you really just take away the your belief in Pete Warner. And Pete Warner, I know he's been having a down year, but I still think he's doing some things pretty well. I think as of recent, he's been struggling. But over the past five weeks compared to the first five weeks, first five compared to the last five, I think we're getting good and then bad and mixing it. And recency bias makes us believe that he's no longer a good player. He's still a good player. He's maybe just having a slump. Um, we'll have to see how the rest of the season goes. But Leonard would want to play. I don't think the Saints want to sign a starting linebacker, get him into a new system and rely on him. Like I also think, too, he wants to go to a team that's going to be competing for a Super Bowl. That's what I would want to do at least. And that leaves like Eagles, Niners, Cowboys, Chiefs. Ravens like not the, like juggernaut teams because it would make sense and a lot of those teams he could probably go and start on and make significant amount of um, plays and play a lot more than you probably would on the Saints he'd probably be a special teams guy at first for the Saints and then gradually come into his role and then by the time he is starting the season might be cl closer to ending and then he probably wouldn't play as much although there is a linebacker who the Saints could go after and add to their practice squad, and that's Jalen Smith. The Raiders signed him off the Saints practice squad not too long ago. A lot of people got pissed off because they lost a practice squad linebacker, which was, like, stupid. But now he's back available. I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints go after him because they also lost Corey Littleton to the Texans, I believe. So Jalen Smith, he's available. I wouldn't be shocked if the Saints maybe bring him back on the practice squad. But as for Shaq Leonard going to the Saints, I highly doubt we see any traction or any rumors of the sort of him wanting to be here or the Saints going after him. As for Derek Barnett, he was waived today. If you don't know what waived means, he's waived and then all 32 teams... And ranking from worst to best can put in a waiver, a waiver claim to pick him up. And if you put in, Saints are, for example, at 16 and the Panthers are at 1. If the Panthers put in a waiver claim to get him, they'd get him. But if the Panthers didn't and he makes it to 16, the Saints would get him. If he clears waivers, he becomes a free agent and can sign anywhere he wants. If I'm the Saints, I'm putting in a waiver claim immediately. The Saints are desperate for defensive and defensive line help. He's, a, he's an edge rusher from the Eagles. He was a first-round pick in 2017. In this career, he has 21.5 sacks, three forced fumbles, 150 tackles, and three tackles for a loss. Now, this season, he's only played 99 snaps on defense and 47 on special teams. That's not a whole lot. And I think he's more of a rotational player, which the Saints need more rotational players because Peyton Turner's injured. Isaiah Foskey has been injured slash not developing very well. And also Barnett, like he's just someone that could probably help out the Saints. The Saints need desperate help at defensive end. They just signed Jason Pierre-Paul off the street to the practice squad. Chances are he's not going to play this week. I don't think he's fully ready for like the scheme and everything. But... Derek Barnett could be a guy who comes in and maybe gets you two sacks. The Saints are that desperate. They need a guy to get two sacks. He's the best you could probably get right now in terms of free agency, waivers, whatever it may be. He's probably the best you guys, can, a team could get this late in the season. And it's not going to be like a game changer, a game record, but it would definitely help. Now, Cam Jordan doesn't have to play 80% of snaps. You can have Barnett playing like 30 and Cam playing 70 Cam Jordan has been playing way too much, and I think that's probably a lot as to why he's not being as productive. He's playing too much. He's getting gassed a lot more. There's not as much rotation. It's a significant... I would highly recommend that the Saints would do this. If I'm Dennis Allen, I see that. This edge rush has been terrible. You have uh, 18 sacks on the season. Four of them, four and a half of them come from Demario Davis. Another one comes from Pete Warner. Your defensive line has like 10 total sacks half of them from one player 
put in a waiver claim for Derek Barnett. Get him. Get some help. You signing JPP shows that you're desperate for edge help. Go out and get him. He doesn't know. He doesn't fit the mold of the Saints' typical defensive edge rusher. He's not 6'5", 290. He's 6'3", and like 250. But that shouldn't matter. He's the best player that you can get right now that can provide significant help on your defensive line, which is struggling. Get him in here. Put in a waiver claim. If the Saints don't put in a waiver claim, they better sign him if he clears waivers. He's someone who the Saints need to add because he's the best player that they can add to their team right now at that position. (laughs) 